Hello and welcome to cricketnews.com. My name is Sumit Bilgi. We are previewing the third test between India and England. Well, we took a bit of a detour. We went to the IPL auctions midweek last week and uh, well, we're, we're here again. It's, it's a new leg of the same series, a new ball in a new stadium. But India will be hoping for more of the same, more of the old. What they experienced in the second test, of course, in Chennai. Joining me, of course, on this very special edition on cricketnews.com are uh, Avishek Mukherjee. A warm welcome to the new senior editor at cricketnews.com. Avishek, big, big pleasure to have you here. Sandeepan Banerjee is joining us from Motera. Sandeepan, first question to you. You've missed this, haven't you? You've missed traveling. You're finally traveling again, doing what you love. You're at the venue. It looks like a beautiful place. Yeah, it's 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 my it's like you know be what you where you belong. But yeah, absolutely the scenery look absolutely stunning. The stadium yeah. is is intimidating. That's what I can tell you. Uh, if you can allow me, then I can pan please and show th- <laughs> please look at the view. I mean, it's brilliant. I haven't seen. I have like toured quite a few countries. Yeah but I haven't seen a stadium of such magnitude. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And so it seems the pictures have been absolutely and amazing. Also the eye... But being there seems to be an absolute experience. Yeah. Sandeepan, tell us a bit about, you've seen this, the stadium, of course, yeah. and you've seen the conditions. Tell us a bit about, about what the conditions are and what we can expect because we are filming this at about four and this is the time where the game would sort of be after the first session and the twilight period will begin. What are the conditions that we can expect? What are the pitches like? Uh, give us the overview entirely. Okay, so what I'm hearing at this point, this time, uh, it will be the first in the history of pink ball test that uh, it will, the pitch will help the spinners because mm. there will be less amount of grass. I, and I, I can see the England players are actually checking the wicket and there is not enough grass. I can see that. Uh, so what will happen? Mm. They are just keeping a minimum amount of grass because we all know that pace is England's strength that they don't want yeah. to um, hand it over to them. So what? Um, so it will be interesting to see how the pink ball behaves, and and because you know the pink ball has always been played with a bit of grass, a thick um, a layer of grass in across the in pitches across the across the uh, world. But yeah. here, what will happen? Uh, we might see the ball losing sign shine quite uh, early, yeah. and because we all know that they don't use grease inside the uh, you know in in uh, in the pink ball because if you apply grease in a red ball, uh, they apply grease in in the red ball to uh, so good. that the sign lasts long. But yeah. in in pink ball, what happens? They don't apply grease because the ball becomes darkish and it is uh, difficult to spot under lights. Mm. So that's why they don't pink, uh, put grease. Uh, but uh, now. In, in this, the outfield look lush and green, and everything is all right about that. But the pitch, um, it is looking there is some amount of grass. I reckon it's like two to three millime- uh, millimeter, mm-hmm. um, but not more than that. Yeah, we generally enough. see in mm-hmm. uh, even the last test match at the Eden Gardens when India hosted its first ever pink ball test, yeah. we saw around nine millimeter of grass on that pitch. Yeah. But here it will be maximum two to three. That's very interesting. Avishek, uh, coming to you, I'm going to ask you to unmute first. <laughs> India, India's brief history in the pink ball, of course, we played just a couple of games. The last, the last known memory is something that India would want to forget, 36 all out in Australia. Will that be playing on their mind? See, India have not done well against the pink ball, Indian batsman. Kohli has scored 100 and uh, he almost got another before he was run out. Pujara has a 50 and a 40. Rahane has a 50 and a 40. Mm. But that is all. Yeah. So, uh, even in the Bangladesh test, India took a sizable lead. But the moment Bangladesh took the second new ball, India lost, I think, five, four or five wickets in nine overs. That's correct. In, in the Adelaide test, even if one ignores the 36 all out as an aberration, India, the Indian first innings collapsed the moment the Kohli Rahane partnership broke. So basically, right. it has it has been two big in one big innings and one fifty from Kohli and two medium sized swings from Pujara and Rahane. The three batsmen you expect to do well have done well, mm. but none of the others have none of the other Indians have done well so far. 
So what Sandeepan says, if it is spinners, things may change. But uh, if it is the fast bowlers again, then mm, I don't think, uh, I mean, this currently does not look very good for India, mm. the, uh, the given record. I know it's a small sample, but still. Yeah. Interesting, very interesting because at the end of the day, the conversations have been around what kind of combination we're going to play in this game. There's not been a lot of focus on the batting. Would batting now be your area of focus that you'd be looking at India very closely come uh, session one if India batting first? Obviously. Six batsmen, six batsmen. Six batsmen, six batsmen going. Interesting, very interesting. So, so what those six batsmen do will be very, very crucial indeed. Yeah. I, I mean, I would ideally want six batsmen. I would want that extra cushion so that it doesn't end with Rahane and Pant. Mm, uh, Akshar, Akshar and Ashwin are fantastic batsmen. But uh, Akshar is uh, still new to this format That's at right. the highest level. Yeah. And I mean, uh, you need a cushion above Ashwin. Yeah, that's correct. And Akshar so, has not played against uh, the big ball is, as well, remember. I, I, Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm not sure whether India will pick a second spinner. Mm. Uh, if they do not, then Ashwin and three fast bowlers. That is something, I mean, I would like to see. Interesting. So, Sandeepan, what is it that you're hearing? Obviously, there is there is a whole lot of debate over you play three seamers, you play three spinners. What is it that you're hearing? What is it that you're picking up from your conversations uh, at the venue? So, what I am hearing is that Umesh Jadav is likely to make a comeback in the playing 11. Uh, Jaspit Bumra is also, uh, obviously he will pl uh, play provided he passed the fitness test. So, there is some concern about uh, around his fitness, but I think that he will definitely uh, make it to the 11. So, mm -hmm. probably what will happen, Boom, uh, Umesh will come in in place of Kuldeep. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, and they will go, the, uh, what I believe the rest of the rest of the um, eleven is going to be same, but right. if they want extra security, then they might play Hardik Pandya as a third seamer, and they, he will give some extra security in the batting lineup as well. Mm -hmm. But I hardly doubt I because journalists are not allowed to see the uh, in the net sessions. Yeah. So I I have no idea whether he has bowled it at the net or not. So yeah. if he's fit enough to bowl. Then probably India will like to have some extra security yeah. in their batting line. I, I, I think they may go for that. Also, Bumrah playing his first test match at home on uh, at, on his home ground. Yeah. Akshar may also be playing a test match on home ground. Yeah. So, is there a build up around that, especially around Bumrah playing a test match in Ahmedabad? Well, currently the entire build up is focused around this venue. <laughs> it is. I mean, it is. It is just brilliant. Well, so course, the entire yeah. focus is around that uh, that venue. In fact, cricket uh, cricket is taking a backstage right now. Well, a little bit of focus is on Ishan as well, playing his hundred test. Remember, he did well. He did well when he played with when he bowled with the pink ball as well. Picked up nine wickets in the test versus Bangladesh. He'll be important figure tomorrow. Absolutely, absolutely, Ishan. In you know, for a subcontinental fast bowler. To uh, you know, to play a hundred test match, it's it's absolutely fantastic achievement. And considering the inju uh, how injury prone Ishan is, yeah. And now in the near future, apart from Bumrah, I don't see any other Indian fast bowler at least playing hundred test matches because of the amount of T20s we have. And remember, Ishan sacrificed his limited overs career to and focused on test cricket. Right. So. I think we need to give uh, Ishan deserves a lot of credit than he generally get from the media, I guess. Very interesting. Obviously, a question that Ishan was uh, was thrown was, of course, whether does he see himself play cricket uh, till the age of 38. Obviously, questions were uh, asked in the line of playing in the lines of James Anderson. There, uh, do you do you, what do you think about England? Of course, let's let's move our attention towards the visitors. Uh, do will England think that this is their best chance in coming back into the test because these are conditions course, that they're familiar course. with. Of course, this is, um, I'm not sure about familiarity, but this will be, mm. they will fo should feel more at home than in Chennai. At mm. least this is not a dust bowl, that is for sure. Yeah. The shine will be, shine will retain longer. Yeah. And uh, it needs to be seen what happens the first hour after, first couple of hours after sunset. That remains to be seen. 
so yeah i mean that will make help england feel more at home than yeah. the chennai test yeah what are the changes we you think we could see in the england ranks uh, obviously play with three three seamers you would reckon even if there's this grass anderson yes, yes. Uh, anderson unless yeah. something uh, unbelievable happens anderson will be playing yeah i would think they uh, i am not sure what is the update on archer is gone uh archer england has just started his its uh, warm up session i, I like us andeep is peeping Ar- like uh, like like i, I like us andeep is peeping like one of those neighbors who are trying to take a look at what's <laughs> happening in the other one's house yeah ho raha hai yahan pe so that yeah, means no. they so that means they are keen on having archer as well yeah yeah they are very keen they are actually very yeah. keen on having mm. archer and i also think that i think they will play johnny best to in place of dan lawrence who yeah the other mm. thing is whether they will retain broad or stone that is the thing so yeah. anderson and broad together that and that needs to be seen that is something yeah. they are they have not been too keen on yeah but now with the series and if england lose this one they are out yeah that's so, correct so uh, with the series at stake with, with a place in the final at stake they may play anderson and broad together in that case and uh, it had to be one of stone and archer mm-hmm. if archer is fit archer plays otherwise it will be stone yeah yeah you need you need that extra pace there won't you yes, in that twilight yes, period yes. so it will be a toss up between the two you reckon you would like to think archer would probably get the nod at the end no yes, actually it depends on his fitness depends so on the pan will be the bet, better person to tell that yeah because we haven't got any update regarding his fitness from the england media team and as we mm. as i have said already that we are not allowed to j- see the practice session i think so that is why they are probably delaying announcing the 11 because they exactly. usually announce the 11 way ahead exactly that's correct exactly another interesting point about this venue is that and talking since we were talking about the twilight period is that this ground doesn't have a stand uh, i mean uh, the Uh, lights uh, they yeah. there will be led light mm. yeah yeah the led light they will be using led light for the first time in, in indian condition so there will be no light stand in this uh, entire venue so it is like the dubai ground exactly like the dubai ground it's mm. like it will look like a ring of fire yeah uh, so spotting the ball uh, will be interesting because virat virat was asked about this question uh, asked about this in the press conference today and he said we have practiced taste and we found uh, no difficulties in spotting the ball but mm. uh, some people here believe that may, there might be some difficulty for the players to spot the ball mm. but uh, both the teams actually were asked this question and both the teams said in during their practice sessions they had no issues with it pujara and saha both mentioned this right last time in kolkata that uh, it was not always visible interesting no no i am not telling on the on that parameter i'm saying this is this time this is the first time led light will be used yeah, yeah. correct of course sandeep and of course mindful of the time we are we are running short of time you obviously have to head out uh, obviously a big big test for india and for virat kohli remember he has not scored 100 in a long while the last time he scored 100 was in the pink ball test in kolkata obviously coming to you how important is this test for virat personally and also for india because you know it's the series are on the on the line india uh, one win and one draw will see india through so mm. i think they'll want to win both of yeah. course it's important but yeah. yes kohli it's not that kohli has not been getting runs Correct. he has got 350s in his last three tests yeah and uh, every time he has looked looked set for 100 when he got out mm. so i hope it's this time yeah. but uh, I don't think we need to worry too much about too much about his form because he's getting the runs. It's just that the big scores are not ha- ha- happening. You remember this was happening to Root at one point. That's he came back and now he's getting those big scores again. I'm sure for a batsman of Kohli's class, he will come back. I mean, there's no doubt that he. Will. Yeah, a hundred percent. And of course, from India's perspective, Abhishek, win the toss back first. You reckon? Simple, no brainer. no true because in, i really it, it will depend on uh, honestly it will depend on how the players have what the players have faced and seen during practice mm. 
well practice under lights hmm interesting the match begins at what 230 to 230 that's correct so ahmedabad will be around the 530 sunset so yep. they'll get probably to one full session and maybe half an hour of another session even if they bat first so yeah, yeah maybe bat first but uh, i don't know yeah yeah in the subcontinent I mean, more often than not you look at you know batting first as an option but uh, yeah i mean these are different conditions it's a different start time a different ball a new venue yeah yeah the know. the strategy may be different yeah i don't know i mean at some point they'll have to consider uh, restructuring the batting lineup based mm. on ping ball interesting maybe, uh, maybe hold back your openers until the twilight yeah i don't know i mean maybe hold back pujara until the twilight so i mean these strategies will will evolve yeah, strategies yeah. around ping ball will evolve 100% 100% and i think we we've, we've seen that india not shy of making those changes to try and adopt to conditions and yes yes that's, that's so if the big, if if things look look okay in the first hour why not promote pant to 3 and hold back pujara until the lights come on when the yeah. ball starts doing things so why not yeah. make that swap yeah yeah 100% uh of course okay uh we mindful of the time of course sandeep and banji has a lot of work to do for cricketnews.com and beyond before we sign off a quick uh, putting you guys on the spot putting two two bengalis of course joining me we've talked a whole lot about the stadium we've spoken about it we know that the mecca in india is the eden gardens do we do we think do we think that the grandeur of this venue comes close to the eden or vishek starting with you he is the one at the venue <laughs> uh, wow. One hundred ten thousand is a lot of people. Yeah. After the renovation, Eden Gardens is at sixty-seven thousand. Yeah. So, what? Uh, it's more than fifty percent of the Eden Gardens. Hmm. So yeah, at least in size. I mean, like, there's no doubt. Yeah. Ahmedabad has a long history. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as we know, Gavaskar's world record in nineteen eighty-three, he went past boycott. He Got his ten thousand runs. Kapil Dev's nine for eighty-three. His world, his world record. So yeah, I mean, Ahmedabad has its own share of history. And then Gujarat too has its own place in Indian history, starting with Ranjit Singhji and every. Yeah. every I, I mean, the, it has been a long journey. So yes, that's correct. I mean, the tradition yeah. is there as well. Absolutely. So we can't monopolize the tradition. in calcutta <laughs> sandeepan uh, do not shy away from that question please turn your camera on whenever you can and uh, give us an insight into it of course you're at the venue and uh, you've seen best of both worlds tell us what you think well um, in terms of sandeep your camera in terms uh, so actually i am no worries, in no. a place where okay. i'm not allowed to shoot so i'm just 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 uh, work because... from home things folks just work from home things okay go <laughs> ahead sandeep yeah so in terms of history obviously i will put uh, history tradition you know nostalgia every on that that note i will definitely put it in gardens to, uh, uh, you know at the helm at the mm-hmm. but still but still in terms of modern facilities in terms of you know obviously the venue as i can say when i entered that venue is like the if you can if you stand on that field of play and look at mm. the stands it mm. it looks like intimidating quite intimidating and mm. imagine when the stands will be full hopefully yeah. during the t20 world cup yeah. and uh, the a foreign team uh, may play you know because in in indian conditions crowd is a big factor as we all know so yeah. a foreign team playing and the entire crowd chanting india india it will mm. be a very difficult for a foreign player or a foreign team to manage themselves on those conditions but I, it's a world class venue that i can tell you every yeah. facility you will get every facility what um, every top available facility which you have around the world you will get at this venue Yeah, very interesting, and of course, India will hope that England feel intimidated, that they feel troubled by the magnificence of this venue. There's been a whole lot of chatter about the venue, but hey, remember, at the end of the day, it's about the ball and the bat and the team that applies itself best. And of course, we we have Sandeepan Banerjee at the venue for CricketNews.com, bringing us the latest from the next two tests. Of course, 
big big thank you to Abhishek Ban- Mukherjee for joining us and Sandeepan Banerjee for joining us from the venue as well. Thank you, Sumit. Uh, this has been fun, and we'll be bringing you a whole lot in the time to come as well. Stay tuned to Creative News.com.